You've probably heard of lithium batteries, the ones that power your smartphone, laptop, and electric car. But did you know that there is a new type of battery that could outperform lithium in every way? It's called the iron air battery, and it's a breakthrough innovation that could change the world of energy. This battery can store huge amounts of electricity, last for years, and cost 10 times less than lithium. Form Energy, a US-based company that has recently announced plans to produce iron air batteries commercially from 2024, with the backing of investors such as Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, and Breakthrough Energy Ventures. Stay tuned to find out more about this exciting innovation in energy storage. Let's dive in. So, what is an iron air battery? Well, it's a type of rechargeable battery that uses iron and oxygen as its main components. Unlike conventional lithium-ion batteries, which store energy in chemical bonds, iron air batteries store energy in the form of rust. Yes, you heard me right. Rust. Here's how it works. When the battery is charging, it uses electricity to split water into hydrogen and oxygen. The hydrogen is stored in a tank, while the oxygen reacts with iron electrodes to form rust. This process releases heat, which can be used for other purposes. When the battery is discharging, it reverses the process. It uses the stored hydrogen to react with the rust, forming water and releasing electricity. The oxygen is released back into the air. So, what are the advantages of iron-air batteries? Well, for one thing, they are much cheaper than lithium-ion batteries. Iron is one of the most abundant and inexpensive metals on Earth, while lithium is scarce and expensive. Iron-air batteries also have a much higher energy density than lithium-ion batteries. That means they can store more energy per unit of weight or volume. This makes them ideal for long-duration energy storage, such as grid-scale applications or backup power. But that's not all. Iron-air batteries are also more environmentally friendly than lithium-ion batteries. They don't use any toxic or flammable materials, and they don't generate any harmful emissions or waste. They can also be recycled easily, since iron can be reused indefinitely. So far, so good. But are there any drawbacks or challenges to iron-air batteries? Well, yes. There are some technical issues that need to be solved before they can be widely deployed. For example, iron-air batteries have a low round-trip efficiency, which means they lose some energy during each charge-discharge cycle. They'd also have a low power density, which means they can't deliver high amounts of power quickly. They also suffer from degradation over time, due to corrosion and oxidation of the electrodes. However, these problems are not insurmountable. Form Energy, the company that is developing iron-air batteries for commercial use, claims that they have solved most of these issues with their proprietary design and materials. They say that their iron-air battery can last for 20 years and deliver 100 hours of continuous power at a cost of $20 per kilowatt hour. That's much lower than the current cost of lithium-ion batteries or other forms of energy storage. So when can we expect to see iron-air batteries in action? Well, Form Energy has already signed contracts with two major utilities in the U.S., Great River Energy in Minnesota and Interconnection in California. They plan to install their first iron-air battery systems in 2023 and 2024, respectively. These systems will provide long-duration energy storage for renewable energy sources like wind and solar. And that's not all. Form Energy has also attracted some big-name investors, such as Bill Gates and Jeff Bezos. They have raised over $200 million in funding so far, and they have a vision to make iron-air batteries a global solution for clean and affordable energy. Form Energy is a startup company based in Somerville, Massachusetts. It was founded in 2017 by a team of experts in energy storage, material science, and engineering. Their mission is to create a new class of long-duration energy storage systems that can enable a 100% renewable energy grid. The co-founders of Form Energy are Matteo Hiramillo, Ted Wiley, Marco Ferrara, Billy Woodford, and Yit Ming Chaim. They have impressive backgrounds and credentials in the field of energy storage. For example, Matteo Hiramillo was the former vice president of Tesla's energy products division where he led the development of the Powerwall and Powerpack batteries. Ted Wiley was the co-founder and president of Aquian Energy, a company that made saltwater batteries. Marco Ferreira was the chief scientist of Ambry, a company that made liquid metal batteries. Billy Woodford was the former director of engineering at a 123 Systems, a company that made lithium-ion batteries for electric vehicles. And yet Ming Chang was a professor of materials science and engineering at MIT, where he invented several novel battery technologies. 
With such a stellar team, Form Energy had no trouble attracting investors and partners. They have raised over $200 million in funding from some of the most prominent names in the tech industry, such as Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, Breakthrough Energy Ventures, MIT's The Engine, McQuarrie Capital, Ininext, Prelude Ventures, Capricorn Investment Group, and Lower Carbon Capital. But how did they come up with the idea of iron air batteries? Well, it all started with a simple question. What is the cheapest way to store energy for long periods of time? The answer was surprisingly simple, rust. Rust is one of the most common and inexpensive materials on Earth. It's also very stable and easy to handle, and it has a lot of potential energy stored in it. In fact, rust is essentially iron oxide, which is the same compound that gives Mars its red color. The idea of using rust to store energy is not new. In fact, it dates back to the 1970s, when NASA experimented with iron air batteries for space applications. However, they faced many technical challenges and abandoned the project. But Form Energy saw an opportunity to revive this concept and make it work for today's needs. They applied their expertise and experience in energy storage to overcome the challenges and optimize the performance of iron air batteries. They also developed a proprietary design and materials that make their iron air battery unique and superior to other types of batteries. One of the main applications of iron air batteries is grid scale energy storage. This means storing large amounts of energy generated by renewable sources like wind and solar and releasing it when needed. This can help balance the supply and demand of electricity and reduce the reliance on fossil fuels. For example, Form Energy has signed a contract with Great River Energy, a cooperative utility in Minnesota, to install a 1 megawatt, 150 megawatt hour iron air battery system at one of their substations. This system will be able to store enough energy to power about 18,000 homes for 100 hours. It will also help integrate more wind and solar power into the grid and reduce carbon emissions. Another example is Form Energy's contract with Interconnection, a utility in California, to install a 2 megawatt, 200 megawatt hour iron air battery system at their Moss Landing substation. This system will be able to store enough energy to power about 24,000 homes for 100 hours. It will also help support California's goal of reaching 100% clean energy by 2045. But grid-scale energy storage is not the only application of iron air batteries. They can also be used for other purposes, such as backup power, microgrids, remote areas, or off-grid communities. For example, Form Energy has partnered with ArcelorMittal, the world's largest steel producer, to explore the use of iron air batteries for industrial applications. They plan to use waste iron from steel production as a source of raw material for the batteries. This could create a circular economy and reduce waste and emissions.